So we decided to do Jeans for Jeans Day last year in Amity's name, a week before Jeans for Jeans Day, because her, her daycare was uh, doing it. They do it every year. And I was like, oh, I'll, I'll tell Amity's story and started a page. We hadn't shared her story with many yeah. people other than our immediate Amen. circle. When we put her story out there and we had so many family and friends that had no idea. Just thought her mark on her face was a birthmark and that was it. Um, and to read her whole story and the amount that we were able to fundraise in the space of a week blew me away. Yeah, I, I had a uh, overwhelming response from friends who had no, like, no idea uh, of Amity's condition and um, to have phone calls, you know, and you're talking grown men who would happily get on the phone and have a conversation with you and, and cry on the phone. Um, yeah, like it's, uh, it's very overwhelming. So her diagnosis was CMAVM2 uh, and it causes her to have capillary malformation. So she has visible malformations on her cheek and on her limbs. Um, they're basically red blotches that do blanch, but have a white halo around them. So Amity's variant hasn't been recorded before ever. So other children that have uh, variants near to Amity's um, have had enlarged veins that run over the top of one enlarged vein that runs over the top of the brain that can put pressure on the brain and cause seizures. But if she has um, nosebleeds or headaches, then it, it could be the sign of a stroke or um, which we've also been told could come from her condition. <laughs> um, so she has to go through MRIs. As you you go through your schooling life, you, you hear about Genes for Genes Day, but you don't really understand the concept of it. So like, I, I always knew about Genes for Genes Day, but it was never uh, in the forefront of my mind of knowing more about it um, until you actually experience it yourself. And then, you know, your child has a condition. It's a child's life is the only way I could put it. Uh, this fundraising goes towards many children's lives and it may not happen now, but it's something that could in the future, you know, help someone's child live a long life.